All right, we're back on this 2017 Jeep Renegade. This is the second video. If you remember the first, I did the high pressure nitrogen decay test. There was a little bit of leak within tenths of a PSI. And, and I couldn't even acknowledge that during the video because I did not wait my 10 or 15 minutes to let the pressure stabilize out. And it was only a few tenths. Uh, but what I did find after I charged it up was, let me get down and see if, there we go. Can you see that little bit of glow down there? I'm going to try to uh, zoom in. You see that little glow where my light is? That is the fitting, the liquid line fitting down there. Oh, where, where do we go? Why can't I see it? There, there it goes. Let me move my light so you can get a better, better view. And... So you see that glow down there? Under pressure with liquid refrigerant in it, it uh, decided to leak a little bit more, but then it stopped. It leaked, it squirted for just a second. There was actually a, 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 a wisp of a, a squirt sound. And let me stop making you guys dizzy and back out there. And I seen a little, there was a little bit of like spray marks. Ah, I can't see them. Some little, dots and I don't know if you could see them from the front here but that made me look on the other side and uh and then I seen that leak down there and that's it so this needs to be taken apart replace the o-rings I'm gonna look for some leaks under the dash too just in case and keep looking for leaks at the expansion valve along all the lines around the compressor and the rest of the condenser. You don't stop at one leak because there might be more than one. And oh yeah, let's see how this picks it up. So we come down here and I put that right to it. And I, right there. There we go. I'm sitting right on top of the leak. You see how little that is? It's really small. You talking to me? Yep. Oh, uh, well, on the video too. <laughs> and uh, so it's coming out in purges. It's like it comes out, then it stops, it comes out. It's, it's kind of like a pressure relief valve. It's not a constant leak. And it didn't leak when I put high pressure nitrogen in and under pressure. It only leaked after the line got hot and it had liquid refrigerant in it. It had zero refrigerant in it when it came in. Zero. Yeah. So... This is gonna to have to come apart to do the O-rings and I'm gonna go around and look for more leaks. And, uh, but that one's obvious cause I could see it with the, the light right away. Okay. 